Well, hey folks, DC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. Got a map review for you today. This is Le Pinky. <laughs> a rather small map that uh, may just bring us that uh, scratch we need for our small equipment itch. There is some nicer old stuff coming out in the mods. So, quick look at the landscape. Rather a apocalyptic looking sun, but there you go. Alright, so this is where you start. This is, well, you can't really call it your farm, as there's no... This farmhouse doesn't actually allow you to sleep, but uh, would be a nice starting spot. We have such things as doors that open, just in case, you know, you need to come out in the middle of the night and get at your woodshed. Helps if you actually get close enough to reach a handle. Alright. And there is a little bit of that around here. Um, hmm. Ah, okay. I was going to say, that wouldn't be a very good plan. But they have, in fact, made that last door not usable. Well, here we go. Ah, alrighty. <laughs> good for them. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Seems to run fairly smooth. It's a fairly small download. All right, let's have a look at, um, yeah, as I say, there's not a lot here. Okay, there's just a few outbuildings. So, if you decide that this is where you want to, uh, make your home, this is what you're going to get. No, uh, no vehicles included on this one. Something we've seen a fair bit at. Okay, I'm getting a tip symbol here. So. Hmm. Yeah, for some reason here. Interesting. Oh well, I'm sure we'll figure that out. Okay, so let's have a look at our map. There we go. You can see there's lots of fields, but uh, other than a couple of rare exceptions, like field 10, and 37 to a degree, I guess, they're fairly small. If we break down our areas, now here's where we are now. We would get three fields. 305k. That's not bad. Not bad. Oh, it's a gas station. Okay, so that yellow tank I saw sitting there was, in fact, a fueling tank. It didn't didn't quite look like it, just because it wasn't on the uh, normal little brace and bracket and such. All right. So, we have ooh, quite a few sales points. Now, yeah, I wish th there was mention that the silos don't actually show anything being in them. I'm not sure if that's uh, something that will be addressed at another point, or if that's just the way this one's working. I'm just wondering, what is it they sell at these? Ah, oh, okay. <coughs> so this is basically... No, no, I guess it's not your barn either, because it doesn't buy the others. Huh, interesting. So it looks like rather than having a barn that buys all of these sorts of things, they've split it up a bit. Okay. And I'm just... 962. Wow. I'm coming to the, uh, the conclusion here that perhaps sheep are not that great a deal anymore. So, let's, uh, let's buy this just to make sure. Okay. Okay. And with that, you would get this field here, which is oats that are just starting to grow. Whoop, not that way, apparently. We go this way. Ooh, that's not cotton, is it? What a rough thing to start out with. That is too, though, isn't it? And we would get this long and lanky bugger back here. Canola. Well, fair enough. 
to do this one first and sell it all, you might actually be able to afford the lease the equipment to get this one, except, well, it needs harvest now. <laughs> all right. So, I guess what we should do is uh, find our way out of here. first spot we can visit is right here, and I believe this is where we can deal with getting of the aminals. Oh, look at this. Cool. Can I drive you? No. You suck. Yep, here we are. We've got, uh, the cows. Meh. Unfortunately, static models. That's kind of a shame, but... Well, we'll just not look at them for too long. Horses, pigs, and sheeps. Chrome sheep. <laughs> Alrighty then. That's, uh, that's certainly different. I guess what we want is to get ourselves a vehicle so we can get around this map. Now, I could use the player speed mod, but, you know, let's do this instead. Nee, 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 nee. Doing. Yes, please. And, of course, because white vehicles suck, we're going to go perfect purple. And let's have ya. Yes. Okay. Alright, now at least we own something. There we go. Here's our shop. Ooh. Hello. Hi. I'm not from around here. How you doing? Hello? Hello? <laughs> ah, snob. Anyway, so this is our shop. Rolmar. Hmm, indeed. Alright. Small yet a functional. And where does that come in on our map? Map. Open the map. Ah, smack dab in the middle. Okay. Very nice. Quite a few things around here, so. As you can tell by the size of the map, it's not very big, because just on the other side of that field is that animal supplier we were It's just over there. So, yeah, nothing's terribly far away here. That's why I think it would be a good candidate. Um... You look like the way out. Hello? Oh, do I have to get out and open it manually? <laughs> you suck. Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Please close the gate behind you. Yeah, bite me. Alright. So. Uh, hmm. More... Uh, Static horses sitting over there. Kind of a shame. You can have the people walking around. I mean, there are real models in here. <laughs> they had the car parked in their tractor right beside it. Perfect. Good morning. Okay. So, we have... Well, we got things in every direction. Let's try this direction first. You know what I mean about some older kit? It would really fit in here. You know? It really would. Alright, now... I think we want to go in here. He says, with some trepidation. I hear pigs. <laughs> uh. Ah, there we are. Oop, almost ran over something. Oh, it's a bit of a tight one, eh? There we go. So this... is what? Okay, Gospodora. <laughs> I'd like to say I could pronounce that, but not even close. Ah, uh, apparently. Milk. 
Interesting. Oh, as well as eggs. Wow. I wish wool was worth as much as eggs, man. Okay. Oh, they actually buy a lot here. They also buy grains, sunflowers. Okay. Now, it would appear that there's one of these scupsalomies here as well. Now, they are uh, purveyors of fine grass. <laughs> there you go, eh? 82 bucks a bag? That's pretty cheap. Okay. So, that... Yeah, there's an actual point here as well. And this is where... Okay, this would be that one to buy grass then. Okay. Interesting. There are some tight little spaces here. Yeah, you go ahead and uh, grab a big Dutes 9 series and see how much fun you have on this map, I'll tell you. Man. <laughs> so there is another... Up Welny, right here. Ah, well, this one's a little bit obvious, isn't it? I'm gonna say sheep bales. Well, wool, sorry, sheep bales. <laughs> yes, you can sell bales of sheep here, which, well, it's kind of a unique, uh, unique map thing, actually. <laughs> oh, pretty tight little dirt road. Yeah, definitely. You want some old school tractors and kits and. Mm-hmm. I can see it. I can see it indeed. Ooh, lovely apple tree you have in your yard, sir. Okay. Ooh, there's a healthy-looking little meadow. Wow. That would certainly take care of your grassy needs. That would be 17, I guess. Or 38. Huh. Oh, yeah. <coughs> 38 would also get you that, whereas 17 is 67k, huh? But I think, oh, okay, that's 17, and this is part of this other field package. Alright. Hello. Hope I wasn't parked in your way, like I care. I still think that's funny that they cross a line through the name of the place. <laughs> like this used to be, but from what I understand, if it has a line on it, it means you're leaving the town proper, or boundaries, or whatever you want to call them. And if it doesn't have a line, you're entering. I don't know. As far as I know, that's, that's sort of an accurate representation. Well, this is a... Ooh, look at the cute little tiny digesters. <laughs> Oh, nice. What an original little BGA. Let's get out and have a wee walkabout, shall we? Alright. Here's where you dumps the stuff. Good, good. This would be our digestate here. Now, there's no symbol, but I will assume... Yes, indeed. There you can see the yellow box coming out of the pipe. Well, they actually centered it in the pipe this time. That's good. Usually it's right on the front of it. There we are, three clicks of the old F5, and put that tool away. Here's our silos, Oof, a little on the uh, claustrophobic side. What an interesting piece of concrete work, eh? Wow, almost a little bit uh, fancier than need be. Uh huh. Well, they're certainly tall enough. Wow, all right, what a decent little BG, eh? I like that. Again, would be so suitable for a bunch of, you know, old Zetor and Belarus tractors and that sort of thing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Alright, where, oh, where shall we go next? Oh, you think I'd know what button to push by now. Oh, well, let's head down to this area. 
the Skeptrari, and all the rest of these strange names. Okay. Not a bad little map. Oh, here's a little forest area. Very nice. Not bad at all. Not so dense that you can't get your trees to actually fall down on the forest floor instead of just leaning against each other like a big tree farm. Eh, not bad at all. Um, if I take that road, you know what? I think we're gonna do that. Let's, uh, let's go for a little ride down the dirt road. Woo, she's a bit of a bumpy. Oh, I hope that one day we get the mud mod back. Oh, some nasty big rocks. I ain't gonna tear the oil pan off my truck, man. Oh, a little orchard. Don't imagine those are functional in any way, shape, or form. Mm, no, not really. They are merely trees. There we go. But that's alright. Gives the place a little lifely lookingness. Because, yeah, that's a word. Okay, what do we got here? Let's move that out of the way. We'll go with the little one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, they got the idea. What we got here? A Fiat? Well, possibly, eh? Huh. Alright. So here... Huh. Huh. There's a... There's a good color for a harvester. A nice burgundy. Alright, what do we find ourselves in? The Skuptrawi. I'm sorry about pronouncing these names, guys. Alright, so they apparently oh, will buy your straw and your silage. Hmm. And that's pretty much where they draw the line. <laughs> okay. Now, whereas here... <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, this is uh, going to end up being that other slomy, isn't it? Yeah, this is the other scup slomy. Okay. And then off this away. Like I said, really tight quarters. Really tight quarters. <coughs> This one here. Oh, okay, this is Troy. I guess. Those other ones were the Slomi and oh and the Lubin Lubin Kitch. Lubin Kitch. Oh man. They're really not being nice to me on this map, I'm telling you. All right, sugar cane. Ah, sugar cane, sugar beets, spadados, corn. All right, they're they're they'll buy whatever the heck you feel like selling to them. Oh, more static animals. I wonder if that was just to keep the uh, ease of running, you know, so we wouldn't be causing problems for. Slightly less, uh, less adequate equipment. But then again, I mean, there is a... Oh, hey, dude. How you doing, man? Sorry to be stomping around the property here. I'm just showing people the map. Nice place you have, by the way. I'm sure you, uh, do well with all these businesses on your property. You're like, uh, some kind of mogul, I can tell by the, uh, fancy house and the, uh, exotic car. Alright, let's, uh, carry on. Let's see what we have not yet. 
gotten to see Animal Gas Station. Alright, I think we need to uh, try and find our way to the top of the map. That ain't gonna do it. I think we're gonna have to use a road. So, let's go screaming back down here. Alright, here's a road, but does it just lead to a field? Yeah. I can see where it just curves around and parallels the field. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's good, dude. Some fancy maneuvers, huh? Alright. Ooh, big bones. <laughs> yeah, not hard to get a little carried away down that one. Alright, let's go. Okay, we want to keep going. That's not the most convenient line of trees, I'm afraid. Huh. It is, uh... Certainly a nice map. Looking around here, for sure. Alright, let's continue on. <laughs> Scarecrow watching over some cabbages back there. What do we got here? Wow, you got quite a uh, harvest going on, don't you? Alrighty. Maybe a little tomato garden there, too. The one that sustained us on that one map for so long until we could finally get the heck across the bridge. Alright, I, uh, I gotta get down here. Apparently this row of trees is just not going to stop. So <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with it on our own here. Now here's an odd set of fields. I think this is neat. These strips. 49, 48, 7, 6, etc, etc. Just these thin little strips. You know, enough to run your combine down. You know, maybe three times, or with an older one, four. You know. Ah! I recognize you. You would be a sawmill. Yes, you would. Open sesame. Okay. A point for logs. Beautiful. A point for logs broken into really tiny pieces. Beautiful. And the scream of the mighty saw blade. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Huh. Bam, bam. Alrighty, I believe we've got this one more spot tucked away. We up here. Da -da -da -dee. Another nice little forested area. Eh? Sweet. So, let's say I wanted to do a little logging. What would it cost me to buy some logging? Hey, not bad, eh? 63k and I could get into some logging, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Do, do, do. Hmm, 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 hmm. Doink. Alrighty. Oops. <laughs> Go ahead. Get out of the truck. Okay, that seems to work. <laughs> yeah. What can I tell you? It's the Canadian in me. Logging? Mmm. <laughs> Alright, and here... Hidden quaintly off in the forest. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, they gotta make up their minds. Some open in, some not so much. Oh. All of a sudden, the sound of machines is just deafening. Must be the dryers for the grain. In this place... Oops. Doey. There you go. 
is the Elowater Bzbzwoli Zyrinko. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, it's the green elevator. <coughs> Man, it sure is, eh? Whew. It sure is. Yeah, that'd be fun if you could get up inside there, but they were smart enough to start those boat bars low enough I can't get in. Hmm. So that's our grain elevator. These must be company vehicles, hey, you can tell. This is a fleet purchase if I've ever seen one. Alright. And apparently the company color is blah. Excellent choice, I must say. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Let's get our little sausage fingers to turn us around here. Come on. Look for the crows on the road. It takes weeks to scrape that off the tire. Okay. I do believe, I do, that we are pretty much... I can't press the right button if my life depends on it. Okay. Yeah, we've already hit up the sawmill. Going the other way won't do us any good, because it's kind of the end of the map. Oh, I didn't even notice a little tree farm. You know, little things like that, they just, you know... They show that the the mod author of this map, who is linked in the description down below, is, as the map is as well, of course, is uh, actually concerned with putting out a, a decent enough product, which gives you hope that things like triggers and such have been added. You know, this is definitely not one of these slap-together, cut-and-paste jobs. You know, there's a lot of thought has gone into this, and it does show. So, I would have to say, all in all, not a bad little map. I think the first really good offering I've seen for people that don't like to run the really, you know, monster size equipment all the time. And as I said, looking at the uh, different mod sites, that's starting to change. We are seeing some, you know, older Eastern European gear get there. I've seen a couple of older John Deere's. So it's it's coming. It's coming. And with that, I think we're going to call her a day. I have no idea where I am now. Ooh, sliding doors. Now, there aren't any included uh, Renault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the old Renault race facility. Um, there aren't any aminals included. So, no matter which of these places you buy, you're not going to score yourself like, you know, a free chicken shack or something. It's just not going to happen. So, yeah, even, even the width of the doorways, these are not designed for, you know, big bud 500s with dualies all the way around. So, all in all, hey, not too bad at all. Whoa. <laughs> We're way up there. Alright. Oh, that's kind of cool. Check this out. There used to be a pretty nice mur mural on there. Very nice. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for the Le Pinky map. Again, there will, of course, be a... Uh, wow. These are some steep little hills. There will be a link in the description down below. Hope everybody enjoyed your map review. If you did, remember to hit that like button. That lets me know that you do enjoy seeing map reviews and uh, kind of inspires me to keep making them. Till next time, though, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.